here at Charlotte's Florals, which serves as the epicenter of Johnson City, Tennessee for fantastic flowers. And I am here with the owner and proprietor, Charlotte Julian. Charlotte, you have to tell me how you came up with this concept and how you've grown to a brick and mortar location from this truck here. I was looking for a creative outlet and just a way to bring joy to people in their everyday life. And so started the mobile business in 2017. Um, I would park at different spots around Johnson City, uh, find the best restaurants and boutiques. We just made it a mobile business and about six months ago, this brick and mortar kind of made its way to us. We really weren't looking to expand in that way, but I think it's turned out great and people come in and build bouquets and just spread joy in everyday life. I'm here with Lauren. She is a customer and friend of Charlotte. And Lauren, how cool has it been to see Charlotte's world grow and expand and become such a, a big piece of the community here in the Tri-Cities? I first met Charlotte when I was at ETSU. She would bring the flower truck on campus. Um, and it was just fun, like watching people slowly see more and more people carrying flowers around campus. Yeah. And then you'd hear about it more and more. Um, and then seeing it grow into this like brick and mortar where there's special events and people are having like some of their really special moments here. It's just been really cool. Charlotte, I don't know anything about flowers okay. except that they grow from the ground yep. and they have different colors. All right, so get me started. What, what should I do? <laughs> so with you or with any mail that I get in, my first question um, is kind of what your budget is and we kind of go from there. I also will ask you if there's a specific color or flower you're looking for. Um, I would just start building building a bouquet and so I like to start with greenery here. Greenery that first, that kind of fills it out for me. It gives me a nice base to work from. So we'll just start start adding from some things in here. So do we think about colors as we're adding these together? Like what goes together? Or, or can you pretty much pick any color arrangement? I do like to start with the greenery first um, and then add some neutrals in there. Okay. Um, and then from there I like to add in uh, some pops of color. So. And then we can move on to some roses. Roses, I recognize the roses. Yes. The only flower I recognize. <laughs> We're gonna keep this between you and me. Yeah. I've She'll picked never these know. flowers. She'll think you okay. did it all yourself. That's right. That's what you're here for, to make <laughs> us look good. Right. That's right. Yeah. Okay. This I mean, this good. this could be a good stopping point here. Okay. Um, and then I would take it back and wrap it up for you. And okay. that would be- And you're on your way. That would be it, yeah. And then I'm a hero. You're a hero. Home. You You got it, yep. Charlotte, the heartbeat behind the store is really that bringing joy to everyday life. What do you feel like this community really got from your store? We really like to focus on just everyday life, and so we love just getting to know the community, and I think for them it brings such a unique aspect. It's a lot of fun to see you know, what people create, their reasoning for coming in, whether it's just because, whether they want to treat themselves. Um, whether friends going through a rough time, um, it's a really beautiful thing to just be able to connect with our community.